given this assumed desire for companies to be more data-driven, what do you think are the critical next steps for that to actually happen? Um, yes, like at least based on the experiences we had so, uh, so far with like working with large enterprises, um, I, I see like there are three things the company needs to do. Um, the first one is clear education. So if you just like have a business person and he has like never used or heard anything about like a classifier and what it means to have a target variable and like features or what like um, feature extraction or an embedding is, it's like it's very, very hard to get them ready to really build a model and also understand later on what the model actually does. And so there's something about like data literacy, like everybody should have. And I think like at least in academia, people recognize that, right? So you see that most um, big universities, like regardless of the subject you're studying right now, you have to take some data class, right? So like they want to have everybody like exposed to like some basic data understanding and then know a little bit about statistics. And I think in, in large enterprises, they are simply need to offer that education to get everybody on the ground level that they have a basic understanding of, of these tools. Mm -hmm. um, the other aspect is that you need to have the right tooling available. And that means like uh, a platform like Einblick, for example, obviously we believe that's the right choice, but also like the right integration. So like you need to make it easy for the people, for example, to connect the right data sources. Nobody should be wrangling around with like ODBC or JDBC drivers. Like with a click of a button, they should be able to connect to the right data source. And then just have Einblick ready so that like the, the overhead to get started is as low as possible. Right? And so that's like tooling and integration is, is the second aspect. And then the, the last one is also equally important is um, you need to have the right incentive structure and ease people in. Um, and what I mean by that is like if like let's assume like you have a, a like somebody working with a data scientist. Um, from the business side, and he's just used to send his request to the data scientist and at some point gets an answer back. What is his incentive to actually do right. more by himself? Right. right? Because it's like he has a personal assistant, right? Yeah, nobody wants to do work. Everybody wants to push it downstream. Exactly. And like it, it creates a very unhealthy environment because like the data scientist doesn't want to deal with all the same requests again. The business users normally has to wait then. But you need to overcome that uh, model. And we actually saw companies struggling with that because they were so used of doing it in a certain way that you need to provide the right incentives to change that. Um, and there are different ways, again, to do that from like incentive structures you put out uh, to like uh, join coding sessions so that they learn how to do it themselves or like training on the fly. So like you say, okay, you only like, if you want to solve this, don't send it just to the data scientist. At least you have to watch how he does it. So next time you can do it yourself, right? And in the moment right. you see like how something is made, like there's a higher incentive for you to do it yourself the next time. In That's particular, right. if it's easier to do it yourself than explaining to somebody else what you want and, and, you know, like, and then understanding the result again. So I think those three aspects is like, uh, needs to be addressed. And then these initiatives about like becoming a data-driven company can actually be successful. Awesome. Yeah. It makes so much sense. The tools have got to be available and the incentives have got to be right. Um, I hadn't yeah. thought about that incentives one before. That is a, a clever angle. I often just think about, um, <laughs> as a technologist, I'm too quick to think about a technological solution and fail to think of the structural, the social issues. Um, and so, yeah, yeah really I, like I also didn't expect the incentive one to come up, but it was very, very clear from the very first customers we had that if you want to make it broadly, uh, like, uh, roll something out, like Einblick in an organization, like those three things really need to be aligned.